functions. So the first thing we want to notice is that usually you see the x in the base position, not in the exponent position. Today we're going to work with the x in the exponent position. We can still uh, create a domain just like we would any other graph. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start with x equals 0. The reason why, why I want to do that is because when x equals 0, that will be your y-intercept. Whatever y is will be your y-intercept. So I want to start there. So once we start there, if x equals 0, that's 3 to the 0 power. Whenever that happens, anything to the 0 power is 1. So we'd end up with 1 plus 1, and that will be 2. So our y-intercept would be 2. Let's write that out. We'll write that out up there. Okay, the next number I want to work with is 1. All right, so uh, 3 to the first power is 3, and 3 plus 1 is 4. Good. All right, um, let's try 2. 3 to the second power is 9, and 9 plus 1 is 10. All right, we've done some positive numbers. Let's do maybe a negative number. All right, so... Let's try a negative 1. Well, 3 to the negative 1 will equal 1 over 3. And then we'd have 1 over 3 plus 1. And 1 over 3 plus 1 equals 1 and 1 third. So we can graph that. All right, let's start by plotting our points. Uh, we have 0, 2. We have 1, 4. We have 2, 10. And we have negative 1 and 1 and 1 third. So 1 would be halfway somewhere. And 1 third would just be a little above that. And our graph would be curved. Let's make our dot points bigger so you all can see them. All right, okay. So um, that's about all. And we have our graph, we have our y-intercept, and that's how you graph exponential functions.